Greenlight has done it again. We've got release two of the Severe Duty Trucks, a very popular three vehicle set. First seen in 2017. Now we've got a recolor of the three popular trucks sold back then, including the 2017 International Workstar New York City DOT dump truck with functioning dump bed and tailgate. All these trucks have lots of moving parts. The International Workstar Platform Stake Truck. Those stakes are removable, so it can just be a flatbed truck. And the Workstar Shell Oil Tanker with detailed rear latch featuring all of the uh, pumps and levers that an oil tanker would have. We're going to explore all of these details as we open up this entire set for you on camera. And as well as a little bonus, I've got three vehicles which are new from Greenlight 2018 including an exclusive Silver Streak C10 Cheyenne camper truck and two vehicles from the most recent Running on Empty series Series 4. We're going to open up both of those trucks. All nice trucks and great comparisons to show the accurate scale that Greenlight prides on its 164 scale collectibles. You may remember Series 1 very popular. They sold out on release. I expect the same from Series 2 and just a quick recap, we had a red Workstar dump truck. As you can see, it's movable parts. The charcoal silver stake bed truck. And a generic silver tanker with white cab. One last look at these trucks in the package before I get them out of their shell. Very good packaging, keeps these vehicles tight and secure. Undamaged until you're ready to open them up should you decide to. Each package has the same little message on the back, a truck to tackle any job. You can pause on that if you want to read about the International Workstar truck. This is a big heavy duty, severe duty actually, not heavy duty. These are big trucks. So I'm glad to be able to compare them side by side with accurate scale vehicles. We'll look at all the packaging on those as well just before we open them up real quick. But for now let's get all three of these trucks out of the package. Starting with the platform stake truck. All you really need to do is cut off a short perimeter of plastic around the bottom of the package. And you can actually save the packaging if you really want to. Mostly undisturbed. I'm not too concerned about that though because I really just want the truck. And there it is. What a big heavy truck. This thing has some weight to it. Let me tell you I really like the color of that orange. That orange cab is spectacular. Huge details on this truck, right down to the grill work, the headlights, the gas tanks, and of course all the other little details such as mirrors, door handles, and labeling of the truck. On the front door you can see it says Workstar. True dualies on these, and they're numbered so you know exactly where in the production run your truck came from. This one is 2,919. The stake bed portion is plastic but very sturdy and removable. As you can see now I will demonstrate the removal of the stake bed. It comes off as one piece and you can use the truck just as a flatbed carrying whatever cargo you deem fit. Perhaps you could even customize it, turn it into a tow truck. Check out the details on the headache rack of this truck. True perforated plastic right through to the cab. You've got to commend the details they can get into these trucks. And these trucks should be available in most of your big box stores that sell toys such as Walmart or Target perhaps here in Canada. They are not sold anywhere unfortunately. I have to get mine from the good old US of A. But I've heard and I'm told that these roughly are about $9 to $10. Quite a bargain when you consider the level of detail and the quality you're getting in a Greenlight 164 scale die cast truck. Now these are suitable according to the package for children 8 and up. I imagine they may lose some parts on these but the meat and potatoes as we should say of the truck will still be there. They might lose a mirror here and there with some heavy sandbox play but these trucks are quality built and can withstand child play although better suited as a display model in my opinion. The next truck out of the package is going to be the dump truck. Let's see all the details from this New York City version. 
Once again, I just cut off the bottom perimeter of the plastic, makes it for an easy opening and a place to store your truck if you don't yet have a place to display it. You can put it back in its protective case. Save yourself any headaches about losing parts. This is a really cool truck. I really like the color combo. I like it a lot better even than the red version uh, first release. The flat black dump box. That is awesome. And let's see if we can zoom in on some of the door Tampa work. New York City. Central Depot. Also work star again above the door handle. Number 129FF. And it actually looks like placard stickers. So detailed. It's absolutely amazing. Nice big chrome bumper. We saw on the steak bed truck a more commercial black bumper. But the city of New York can afford a chrome bumper on their dump truck. Let's check out the opening feature. Very sturdy hydraulic lift with opening tailgate. You can imagine filling this thing full of sand would be a lot of fun. And I didn't mention on the first truck, but these are true rubber tires. The dualies are actually a one, two, three, four piece on each side. So one axle is eight tire or four tires, four rims, and an axle piece. And uh, you can see how detailed those wheels are. So that's two trucks out of the package. Let's go for the tanker truck now. This tanker truck has another axle on the back for a total of 12 tires on the rear, two up front. So 14 tires with this model, 14 rims. This is the heaviest of the three trucks, and it has an awesome paint job on it. You gotta love the colors of the shell livery on this truck, and those awesome ladders, placards, tail lights, marker lights. Wow, what a fantastic model. Let's take a little zoom in on the front of this vehicle once again. We've got a yellow bumper on this one. You can see the weather stripping around the front windshield, roof marker lights. This one has gray mirrors versus the chrome mirrors that we've seen on other models. More of a commercialized tanker look perhaps on this. You really got to like that green light pays special attention to details, uh, making each of their models somewhat different. This one has gray tanks as well with black strapping on them. The other models had chrome tanks. Chrome wheels for this one though offset the muted gray colors of the mirror and tanks. A huge platform on the top. A metal chassis just like the other two trucks. Well, I was off on my tire count. This is the idler spare set of axles for when this thing is heavily loaded. Currently in the up position, so possibly not fully loaded. Number 5600. And these trucks really are made up of a lot of parts, a lot of quality in these things. Let's show you that hatch I was telling you about earlier. If you don't have a suitable thumbnail to open it up, you can pry it open with a hobby knife or maybe something slightly safer if you uh, have a flathead screwdriver. But let's see if we can get the details on the camera here. In the back of that door, we've got a pump in there, fuel pump, two fuel pumps. Gauges, levers, hose. The details abound. It's really incredible. I really like those mud flaps, the international mud flaps. Which one's your favorite of those three trucks? I know which one mine is. You were just looking at it. Now let's get open a few of these pickup trucks. I've got three. All very awesome. Wish I could have found the entire Series 4, but I can't afford everything, so I get what I really like. And uh, this Silver Streak was high on my list. It is an exclusive hobby, hobby, hobby. So you probably have to go to a hobby store if you live in the United States or buy it online. It is a 68 Chevrolet C10 with Silver Streak Camper. And on the back, you can pause on that for those who love to travel. Let's get that one out of the package, but first we'll just take a look at the other two running on empty. I've got a bit of a Texaco gasoline themed uh, pickup truck collection going, as Greenlight has been producing the Texaco Tampo vehicles for a little while now in all types, so I had to pick up this 1974 F100 
really particular to these older pickup trucks. I think they're really cool. If you were to collect the whole series, there they are, the 39 Chevy panel truck. It was a shell, Tampa had one. Uh, Goodyear 39 Chevy panel truck. The 56 Ford F100 with tow hook. There it is. Got that one. The Ford F100 from 1970, that's what we're looking at. And a 1971 Datsun 240Z, a 2017 Ram 2500 power wagon. I actually got that one. There it is. Got that one at a later date. Had to pick it up after uh, a redecision. Couldn't live without that. The STP Ram Power Wagon, also from Series 4, as you can see. So really cool. Love the running on empty series. Let's get those four remaining trucks out and next to the Severe Duties. Nearly a truck from every decade starting in 1956. Got four awesome trucks out here and about. Green light if you're watching this video. Hurry up and make some trucks from the 1980s. I would like to see a Silverado, uh, some Fords. All those 1980s trucks are cool as well. Hopefully they get on that. But for now, we've got a wicked little assortment here. And uh, I'll give you a quick detailed turnaround of each of these vehicles. And of course, the size comparable next to these huge severe duty trucks is obvious. Here we've got one of the biggest pickup trucks on the market currently, this huge Dodge Ram power wagon and you can see the the work star still dwarfs even that truck just as it should now if we go back to a smaller truck from the 70s this 1970 Ford very comparable in size looks very very correct scale wise note that this one has a nice opening hood on it revealing the engine really nice to see those details when they can put them into the vehicles and I think we've covered the scale adequately enough, but we might as well drop the old tow truck into the stake bed truck. Fits no problem, just as it probably should in real life, should you need to carry an old tow truck in your stake bed truck. I really like when Greenlight makes these campers. I buy every single one, even though I have to special order them, just like most of the vehicles I buy from Greenlight. I really like the new Silver Streak Camper Edition. They've got three different uh, camper backs now for these pickup trucks. And it uh, always looks good on the old C10. Of course, all metal. This one is number 156. Fairly low number on the production run for this truck. But the details really speak for themselves, don't they? Then we've got the Texaco from the Running on Empty. We looked at the engine already. Really nicely detailed grille. Authentic red painted commercial hubcaps. The best part about this truck is the weathering effect. Love when green light gets some weathering on their trucks. This one just has some light weathering to the box area. You can see some intentional rust chips where you would normally find wear, especially on a working pickup truck. So overall in pretty good condition for its year, I would say. It's got the white commercial bumper, which also features a little bit of rust. And even on the hood, some intentional paint loss, some flattening and uh, delamining of the uh, top coat or whatever you want to call that on the hood. So some slight weathering on that one, really like it. And for the 56 Ford tow truck, gotta love your tow trucks. Really like the detailed look of the tow apparatus on Greenlight's trucks, flexible hook. This one may or may not be capable of actually carrying a vehicle. The hook is quite small and realistically scaled. So as far as these models go, it might be difficult. But nonetheless, this one has the Golf Tampa on it that we're seeing more and more everywhere with a tan background paint job and some intentional paint splatters on the truck, perhaps to simulate a uh, mud puddle. It looks like almost brown splatter. Really nice heavy piece. And the most newest of the pickup trucks, this huge Ram truck, probably the heaviest of the bunch that I've just reviewed, Power Wagon, it says right on the back, choose the right fuel additives, STP, gotta love those wheels, true, uh, look, you can see right through the wheels, they're not just like single mold, and uh, lots of details, of course, just like every other green light vehicle. So, all in all, what's your favorite pickup truck and what's your favorite severe duty truck? 
Thanks for watching this video. Many more to come. Happy hunting. Bonus footage of the work stars waiting a spot on the display shelf. For now, they're out in the field, parked amongst the forest and the trees.